Hey guys, what's going on? It's Castle Perfect here bringing you a live commentated Wi Fi battle. And before the battle actually starts, I would like to say thank you very much for all the support you guys have been giving me. The likes, man, thank you a lot. Thank you a lot. And um, for today, I'm going to be battling Neil, aka Jello, on Twitter. Um, over there, I was asking for the battle, of course, because the, that's the place that I actually use in order to get my battles. So if you want to battle me, just add me on Twitter or follow me on Twitter. The link will be down in the description. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started. Now, before, actually, before I get started, I would like to say that I'm using a couple of Pokemons here. That uh, they are Pokebank because Pokebank came out in Europe, and today, like an hour ago, it came out in North North America. So, it actually came out everywhere. So it's pretty awesome. Everybody can use Pokebank right now. And um, I got myself Azul, which is going to be uh, my Latios. I got a Chestnut. I got uh, Armageddon, which is going to be you know, Ar Ar Armaldo. And I uh, got a new Gardevoir, got a Mandibus, and got Flash the Power, of course. So let's go ahead and see how this works out. My opponent here has got a pretty solid team. I gotta say, there is a lot of defensive threats going on over there. Um, he's got a Gudra and Slowbro combination, which are, you know, they, they pretty much complement or each other very very well because Slowbro uh, pretty much covers the defensive side and uh, Gudra covers up the physical side. So I'm gonna take a picture real quick just like that so I have like uh, a memory help where I can double check my opponent's team if I need to so he's got an Infernape Smeargle so he might lead off, lead off with the Smeargle so I might as well just go ahead and get started with um, I guess I'm going to start off with Arma Arma Armageddon and uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually going to start out with Armando, Armaldo here. Why do I have so much trouble pronouncing that name? I don't know. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. I am uh, kind of rusty when it comes down to Wi-Fi battling because I haven't been battling quite a lot lately. Uh, actually, not not at all. I've been busy with uh, Pokebank. School is really taking my time again, and uh, <coughs> you know things things are kind of uh, picking up again. It's uh, it's a busy life, the student life. <laughs> So anyway, so my opponent's gonna start off with uh, these Mergo just like I predicted, and uh, nine out of the ten times there is my shiny Armaldo, Armageddon, just doing some amazing, amazing job right there, looking pretty. So just like I predicted, he's gonna start off with this Mergo like I said before. Uh, the thing pretty much has focus as you might as well just go ahead and uh, you know take the spore. I'm gonna take the spore. No wait, I'm not going to take the spore. Am I going to take the spore? I am not sure if he's gonna go for the spore. So what I should have done is um, let up with Mandibus. I'm actually no, no. I'm just gonna I'm gonna stay in here. I am going to go for uh, that knockoff. I'm gonna go for the knockoff just to break down the focus ash. No, he goes for the spore, so I'm gonna be put to sleep right now, which is really unfortunate. I won't be able to set up the rock so far, but that's fine because uh, I actually should have switched out into Mandibus. That was a really bad play on my part. But then it would have just proceeded to set up Stealth Rock, so it wouldn't really make that much sense. Or it wouldn't really matter all that much. So, um, I'm guessing that um, I should switch out to Chestnut. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to switch out into Chestnut here. Just to set up the lead seed or not. I'm just gonna go for the straight wood hammer because I wanna take this thing out. And uh, I don't feel like setting up just yet. Uh, that will come with the time. So he's gonna go ahead and set up Sticky Web. And I actually have a Defogger on my team, and a Rapid Spinner as well, which is uh, going to be our Magadan. Uh, and, uh, really? I am set. I'm really not to worry. He cannot put me to sleep right now, because he already put something to sleep, so... Uh, there is a possible way that he might switch out into Infernape. So, on the off chances it goes for that, I'm just gonna go for the Lead Seed, in case um, he decided to switch out. Now, he's just gonna go ahead and set up Stealth Rocks. But the Lead will be breaking down the Focus S, which is great. So that's good. Alright, so I do hit the Lead Seed, and it's really unfortunate because in this generation, Lead Seed takes so long, the animation. God, it takes way too long. It's first the animation of the Pokemon, then the recovery, and all the jazz. Well, anyway, I am going to... Actually... I'm thinking of using um, Lead Seed two times, or twice in a row. Now nah, I'm just gonna go for I'm just gonna go for the wood hammer here. Uh, there's a high possibility he might switch out. No, he's gonna stay in and go for the thunder wave. Wow, this is a complete setup, Smeargle. So far I've seen Thunder Wave 
uh, Stealth Rocks Spore. And uh, yeah, that's that's about it, I guess. I'm just gonna go for the Wood Hammer right there, just take him out. Uh, I am tired of the of all the setup moves. Uh, so he's absolutely or going to switch out into Slowbro or go out into his uh, <coughs> Infernape or Chandler. It just depends what it feels like. It's got two fire type Pokemon on this team, which is kind of funny. Um, I don't see that often. Two fire types in one team. I don't see that often. So he is going to bring out Chandler, which is of course a special attacker, and uh, I need to get the hell out of here. Um, I'm actually going to switch out into Gardevoir simply because I want to. No, no, I'm not gonna. No, I'm not gonna do that. Wait a second. Gotta be smart. Um, Shadow Ball hits for an insane amount of damage, but I could switch out into Argonite here and absorb the the Fire type attack. But then again, I might as well just go ahead and uh, switch out into Gardevoir because. I mean, I might just trace the uh, Flash Fire ability, and if he, he decides to go for the Fire type attack, that will boost my special attack, or not my special attack, but my Fire type attacks, which I don't have. But okay, it's just negating the, uh, you know, damage for one turn, just uh, doing what I can. So Trace is gonna be activated. He's got Infiltrator all going on over there, which is really unfortunate. It's gonna go for the Shadow Ball. This is going to hit me for neutral damage. That's gonna do a lot, I think. Oh my God, ah, it's actually super effective. <coughs> I thought it was weak to, uh, to fairy type. Wow, I guess I was resisting uh, the ghost type, but apparently I'm not, and uh, I'm an idiot, and I just lost that Pokemon, just like that. I just wow, I just lost my Mega Evolution. Just wow, well, that's that's really stupid. That is really bad. That was a really bad misplay on my part. So what are we gonna do now? Um, I got a paralyzed and a sleep Pokemon. Uh, so I mean, I could go out into Azul, which is going to be my Latios, but um, going out into that Pokemon, I mean, it can bring some huge risk, considering the fact that Chandler can be Choice Scarfed, so I don't know. I'm actually going to switch out into Mandibus now, and I'm just I'm just going to defog everything away, because quite frankly, I don't... Look at that shiny Mandibus, man. It looks so freaking cool. So I'm actually going to defog everything away, like I said. Because uh, uh, I'll be switching around quite a lot against these kind of Pokemons like Chandler and Infernape. So um, getting rid of all those hazards will definitely help me out in the long run. And uh, not to mention that I will conserve quite a lot of HP uh, that way. So it's going to switch out here. It's going to go into Happy New Year, which is going to be the Slow Bro. Which, in my opinion, is okay. I mean, that's okay. Uh, I don't see Slow Bro being such a threat at this point. But I might, I, I might be completely wrong, though. So... Um, okay, I can go for the knockoff here because I have access to it and uh, this Pokemon is actually from Pokebank so I got a couple of moves that you guys might not be able to get normally on Pokemon X and Y so I'm just saying that out there, I'm just putting that out there. Um, I'm really tempted to go for the knockoff here, um, I'm actually just gonna go for the knockoff. Screw it, I just wanna knock off the item of the Slowbro which is most likely going to be leftovers. And uh, that's good. That's actually going to be very good. So he's gonna go for the Scald. He's gonna most. He's most likely going to be fishing for the flame or, or the burn. He gets a crit. He gets a burn. That's so lucky. That's absolutely lucky on his part. God damn it. That burn is really gonna come to bite me in the ass later on. So I'm just. I'm just gonna go for the roost here. Uh, because yeah, quite frankly, I need the HP. I need this thing. I think I. I need Mandibus to stay a. Uh, Alive because this thing can actually sponge that a lot of moves coming from the Gyarados and um, for that um, in from that Infernape as well. So I really need this thing alive. Uh, he's gonna go for an Ice Beam though, uh, which is not super effective because of course when you use Roots you remove uh, the Flying type for a turn, so that's why. And instead of switching out right now, I feel like I can go for another Roots because quite frankly. Uh, it is absolutely uh, the best thing that I can do at this point, and I need to be at a certain amount of uh, HP where I can be happy of switching out, so... Yeah, it's possibly going to be now. I'm going to switch out now. He's uh, somehow just spamming the ice beams. I don't know why, but I mean, that's okay. Um, I think that he he's pretty much preventing me from switching out into a, into a soul, which is going to be Latios. And the same goes for Chestnut right now. He's slower. Uh, I mean, I could go out into Flash, which is Joyce Bandit, 
but then again, Wild Charge, I don't know if they, that's not gonna kill, that's actually going to do a lot of damage, but it's not gonna kill, and then the Scald will absolutely destroy the life of Arcanine, so, yeah, I'm actually thinking of just, I'm, of just staying in, I guess, I don't have a safe switch, I thought that I could switch, but, I'm not gonna switch on to that Ice Beam, I'm definitely not doing that, so I'm just gonna go for the Fall Play here, Um, and at some point he will be forced to, to go for the slack off, I guess. So he's gonna go for the scold now. Should have switched out though. Uh, Alright, so on the next one I'm roosting again, so I, I, I'm just looking for an opportunity right now to switch out. Uh, because I, I kind of I kind of want to avoid an ice being on my Latios. Because <laughs> that will hit for super effective damage and uh, I'll definitely need all the HP that I can get from Latios. Uh, he's gonna go for another skull. At some point, he's gonna get a critical hit, I guess. Ah, uh, the burn is so annoying, though. So annoying. Well, yeah, whatever the case, I'm just gonna switch out now. I'm gonna go out into a Sumerial. I mean, a Sumerial. <laughs> uh, Azul, uh, aka my uh, Latios. And uh, he'll most likely switch out after this. Alright, so he's gonna go for the Slack Off. I'm not sure if I should go for the T-Bolt or the Dragon Meteor. I think the Dragon Meteor is more powerful. But then again, it's going to lower my special attacks. Might as well just go for the Thunderbolt. I'll end up hitting whatever he switches out into. Uh, even if it's actually the Gudra. So... <coughs> no, I'm actually going to go for the Dragon Meteor. Um, in case he goes out into that Gudra. So, I'm just going gonna, to gonna go ahead and use that. Alright, so he's gonna stay in, simply because he has that much HP and he can live through almost anything that this Latios is about to throw at him. And it's actually almost going to kill. It was very close. Very, very close. And he's gonna get an Ice Beam off. That's gonna do quite a lot of damage, I believe. Um, yeah, it's gonna do a hell of a lot of damage. So, uh, or he switches out here or he's in for a world of trouble. I'm not sure if Slowbro's got the Regenerator ability, I'm not even sure if Slowbro can learn that. I think he has the access to that ability, but... Well, 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 well. I'm just gonna go for another Draco Meteor, um, I, I don't care. Uh, so it's gonna stay in, that was absolutely the best thing that I could do at this point. I'm gonna take out that Slowbro, and uh, that's gonna be the second Pokemon that I'm gonna be able to take down on his, from his team. And uh, I'll gotta be careful because that Dragon, I mean that Gyarados that he's got on his team, uh, the Thinking Dragon Dance can possibly go for the Dragon Dance and set up me and you know pretty much destroy uh, lives. So I need to take care of that thing first. He might just bring it out now. No, he's gonna bring out Gudra, which is a very safe switch in, or not a switch in, just a send out. Um, all right. I need to think right now because I. I think that I'm gonna be uh No 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 I'm not gonna sacrifice Mandibus just now because I think that Mandibus is really important. Um Damn it our our Magadon is actually asleep. <sighs> oh this is bad. Alright. So Gudra and he's against my Lottie, so he'll most likely go for the dragon type attack. Uh, I don't have that fairy type, fairy type uh, Gardevoir around, so I'm just gonna switch out into a Mar Armagedon just to take, or Magadon, sorry, just to take um, whatever this Gudra is about to throw at me, because quite frankly, I, I have no safe switch into this thing, or any safe switching into anything uh, for that matter. So it's gonna drop a Thunder. Interesting. It's not even raining, and he's just going for the Thunders. That's okay. Well, I, I mean, I, I, I take that. I'm just going to go for a Stealth Rocks here. Because they will absolutely help me out against those uh, Pokemon that he has left on his team. So he's going to go for the Dragon Pulse now. That is going to oof, almost take me. I'm going to wake up, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to set up the Stealth Rocks here, and that is going to help me out. I deal some entry has a super effective damage to the Chandler, the Gyarados, and that is just freaking amazing. Now, I know he's going to take me out on the next turn, so I'll just uh, stay in here and go for a knockoff. Because, like, my entire team has knockoff. Alright, there goes. So he takes me out with a Dragon Pulse, and that's fine. I'm thinking what to switch in right now. Because, I mean, I, could, I, could, I, I can go out into Flash. 
Uh, I'm, I'm absolutely not switching in um, or sending out uh, my Latios because I think won't be able to take him down with the Draco Meteor even from that full range of HP. Uh, so I'm guessing that I should send out Chestnut. Does that thing have actually Fire Blast? I'm not sure. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to go out into Flash at this point. And I am actually going to go for a Flare Blitz. It sounds uh, quite ridiculous, but I'm just gonna do that. It's like the most powerful attack that I have right now. I, mean, can, I can go for the Close Combat, but that's gonna lower my uh, defense, special defense. So I'm just gonna go for the Flare Blitz here. Do as much damage as I possibly can. Come in with Latios and just finish off the deal. Because Mandibus is actually burned at this point, and that's that's really not something that I enjoy on my uh, typical wall. You know that those moves they cripple the living crap out of Mandibus, and I don't like it. Cause like full full play does not do that much damage either way. So yeah, that burn really really hurts. So it's gonna take his time. He's gonna stay in, and uh, I'm just gonna go for the Flare Blitz here. Uh, see uh, see how much I damage I can actually get off this thing actually does like 50% which is awesome he has the gooey ability which kinda sucks and uh, he's gonna go for the dragon pulse had he not gotten that ability gooey man at minus one attack I would be able to take him down right now that's really really unfortunate <coughs> but um yeah I'm actually still going to stay I'm just gonna go for the flare blitz Really, there there is not much that I can do at this point. And uh, hopefully I get a critical hit or something like that. That would help out. Alright, so I take him down without even having to worry about the uh, minus one attack, which is awesome. I must have had uh, minimum damage on that last Flare Blitz. So, and I live with 8 HP, so Arcanine's still alive. I don't have entry hazards around that can mess up uh, Flash, so uh, that's good. He's gonna bring out the Arcanine though, or I mean Infernape, and uh, yeah, he's most likely going to go for the Fake Out, I mean, or Fake Out or Mech Punch, one of those two. Um, right. I think I'm just, I'm just gonna go for the Flare Blitz, really, there is not much that I can do. He's gonna go for the Flare Blitz. Oh, he's gonna go for the Mech Punch to finish me off. Really, it, it was Arcanine or Chestnut, so I decided to save Chestnut because Chestnut is more defensive. Alright, so it's gonna lose a little bit of HP, so it's life orb. So me going out into a uh, a soul here uh, will consult or result in me going for the psycho shock and basically taking this fool's life. All right, let me just double check that picture because I don't remember what he has left. All right, so it's got a chandelier left, a Gyarados, and this thing. All right. Alright friend, I am just going to go for a recover, you're gonna go for the mag punch or predict- Oh! Alright, alright, I should have gone for the psycho shot, god damn it. I thought he might go for the uh, mag- Oh, he's gonna go for the overheat! That's interesting. It is not super effective though, and it does, I think, less damage than mag punch at this point. Or not, no, I'm just, I'm just rambling at this point. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the Psycho Shock now, and uh, I'm gonna take him out, because apparently he doesn't want to go for the uh, Mag Punch, which is great. Now, I am at a decent amount of HP to the point where I can, like, fire two more attacks and still be considerably alive. Um, I'm not sure if I will be able to fire off two more attacks, I think I do, and I can still live. And this thing is actually kind of scaring me, because it feels like it's Joy Scarfed. And if that's going to be the case, then <coughs> I'm in a world of trouble. Uh, right now, I really have to make a choice. Now, his Infernape is out of the game, so he's got a, uh, a Gyarados and a Chandelier, Chandelier, Chandelier sorry, uh, left. And uh, I've got Chestnut, Mandibus, and uh, Latios. He's going to go for the Shadow Ball, that much I know. But then, right, what do I do then? Uh, I'm going to switch out into Chestnut here just to sponge the Shadow Ball because I really don't trust this situation. I'm definitely not losing my Latios to a Choice Scarfed um, Chandler just yet because at some point it will have to happen. He's gonna go for the Fire Blast. Wow. 
Okay. I'm not sure if he predicted the switch right there, but um, good job, dude. Good job. And uh, now that I have that feeling that he's gonna lock himself, that he's locked into Fire Blast, I'm gonna go back into Latios, and uh, I think that I'm able to survive one Fire Blast from that range. If not, then that's gonna be sucky, and I just hope he misses his Fire Blast because that's like the only chance that I have of winning this game. Come on, Latios, you can do it. You can. Ah, oh, I lose him. I lost. All right, so I guess I lost this game now, didn't I? I only have Mandibus left, he's got two Pokemons left, which is really, really unfortunate. Damn it. This really sucks. He just had to get a burn and that critical hit on Mandibus. So critical. Right, I'm just gonna go for the Roost here. Maybe he misses his Fire Blast. And he doesn't, he hits three Fire Blasts in a row. Wow. That's quite original. But hey, that's gonna be the game, guys. Thank you very much for watching. It's gonna be a 2-0 for him. Uh, good game, Neil. Thank you very much for the match. Everybody, remember to like up this video if you enjoyed it if we get this video to more than 50 or i think guess 40 likes plus then uh, i'll just upload another live commentated wi-fi battle and everybody will be happy most likely so everybody thank you very much for watching comment rate and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace